What's going on, everybody? This is Jen Sports, a.k.a. Jen 76 back here again. And today, I want to quickly recap the Indianapolis Colts defeating the uh, Green Bay Packers 34-31 in overtime. And like I said um, in my previous videos, this was a phenomenal week of football. But man, uh, Fox 430 type of game. This was a phenomenal football game to watch between two playoff caliber football teams. But you know, talking about the Green Bay Packers, and this is probably going to make a lot of Packers fans sick just thinking about it, but the turnovers cost in this game. I mean, they had way too many turnovers, way too many fumbles, uh, whether it was snaps, whether it was just the players losing the ball, and, you know, that you know that Valdez scaling fumble and the end in overtime cost them, the you know, it damn near cost them the game, but just way too many turnovers, way too many mistakes by the Green Bay Packers. I mean, you can make an argument that they, they were the better football team, but one thing the Colts have been good at the last couple of weeks is forcing turnovers and you know the Colts had four turn had you know they 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 forced four turnovers they were able and you know the Colts were able to capitalize and and and, and score off the uh score off the the turnover score off the possession so you know it definitely sucks if you're a Packers fan you're probably thinking about that we should have that they should have definitely had this football game but it is what it is is the NFL and you got to take advantage of the opportunities that are given to you and the Packers just didn't do that enough uh, but earlier on, the Packers were dominant. Um, they were up twenty-one to seven at one point. I think going into that, they were twenty. It was like twenty-eight fourteen. Uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers for the most part was efficient. For was efficient. They ran the ball okay earlier on. Defensively, uh, Zadarius Smith was just re uh, he was just wrecking. He was just destroying that offensive line. He was all over the place. Kenny Clark was getting pressure on the quarterback as well. I mean, this was. Man, Zadarius Smith had a hell of a game, even though he didn't have any sacks or anything like that. He was all over the football field. Uh, but this Packers defense looked, for the most part, they looked really good in the first half. And then the second half came, I think all the turnovers happened, and the Colts started to gain momentum. And, you know, uh, the Colts dominated the second half. I mean, what can I tell you? The Colts really dominated the second half. Uh, the Packers, I think, had a field goal. I think only had one field goal, or maybe they did have a touchdown in the second half again. I don't remember because don't really remember that much. But we all, but the Packers got outplayed in the second half, and again, a huge reason was the turnovers, and and ultimately the turnovers was the reason why they lost that football game. But um, yeah, man, got to give a lot of credit to the coach. They were able to fight back a lot. I know Jonathan Taylor was finally getting involved more in the offense. I know his carries have gone down, but Jonathan Taylor was finally able to get a lot of carries, had 20-plus carries. We were able to see guys like Michael Pittman Jr. finally you know, making an impact on this football team. T.Y. Hilton was able to make an impact on this football team today. Um, you know, they had playmakers on the outside were able to, you know, make an impact. So, you know, got to give credit to the Colts uh, there, um, even though their offensive line wasn't the best today. And the Colts is considered to having the best offensive line in football but again, Zadarius Smith and Kenny Clark was just right, was just wrecking havoc all over that defense. Even even Rashawn Gary was able to go was was able to go in there and make some impactful plays here and there. But you know, uh, I got to give a lot of credit to Philip Rivers, the coaching staff with Frank Wright. Um, they kept their composure even after getting dominated in the first half and being down twenty one to seven, especially to a, one of the best teams in football, if not maybe arguably the the second or third best team in the NFC. They kept their compo their their composure. And the Colts were able to go ahead and get the victory. They were able to go, you know, well, get right back into the game. And then they were able to take control of the victory thanks, thanks to the DeForest Buckner recovery fumble um, in overtime because of Scanling fumbling the ball. Um, so, you know, this sucks if you're a Packers fan. You know, you know, obviously these guys control their own destiny. Um, I don't think there's anyone close. I don't even, you know, the Vikings lost today against the Cowboys. The Bears are a mess. And the Lions, well, they got absolutely crushed by my boy P.J. Walker, former XFL great P.J. Walker. So, you know, obviously the Packers control their own destiny, but the fight for that number one seed, man, I think that's just it. It's the fight for the number one seed. And when you had it, when you had this game, you had it. You had this game, but they just kept cost the mental errors, man. Just mental errors cost the Packers this football game. And, you know, when you're fighting for the number one seed and you're trying to get that home field advantage, you cannot afford to make those mistakes. For the Indianapolis Colts, this was a, this was a huge win for the Colts. Because again, you're fighting with the Titans, and the Titans are seven and three. Um, 
the Colts are now seven and three, and you just beat the uh, you just beat the Tennessee Titans last week. So this was a huge win for the for the Indianapolis Colts, right? The Titans are going to win a lot more games. The Colts got to go ahead and, and stick with it. So you know, obviously, it's going to be an interesting race to see who wins the division. I do believe that both these teams will make the playoffs, but again, home field advantage, especially because we all know these two teams are not going to get the number one seed. Well, it's possible. It's possible if Pittsburgh just chokes it all the way. Um, but you're fighting for home field advantage um, in the first round of the playoffs, which is looking like right now. So every game matters. Every game counts because this is this is a very, very tight race between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. So anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to like the video, uh, share the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's me know that you guys uh, want to stay up, up to date with my weekly NFL content. Again, I do recaps every single week. So again, you just you know, just hitting the notification bell, just hitting the like button just really helps the channel, lets me know that you guys like uh, my video so far. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you want to follow me on my social media, uh, that I will have that on the link below the description. But like I said before, guys, uh, you know, Jan 716, aka Jan Sports, congratulations to the Indianapolis Colts, ten uh, not Tennessee Titans, but Green Bay Packers fans, keep your heads up. And that's all I got. So anyway, for the last time, Jan 716, aka Jan Sports, I'm out. Have a good night. Peace.